What's going on guys? You know, today we're in for something just physically painful to watch, dude. As you saw from that like 30 seconds of gameplay footage I put at the beginning of this video, you know, we're in for something truly special here because we're probably going to witness here the worst gameplay of Doom Eternal that will probably ever be uploaded to the internet. Now, in case you don't know the lore behind the guy who's playing this, about two or three years ago when Cuphead came out, there was a games journalist by the name of Dean Takahashi who got to play the game early and while he was so so bad at the game that it turned out to be one of the most infamous gameplay videos ever uploaded to the internet and I'll just play the clip real quick. Like, this dude could not jump over the first obstacle in the fucking tutorial, dude. Like, that's a fucking achievement. But just think, this man's only job in life is to play and critique video games, but he could not jump over the first fucking obstacle in a tutorial for a side-scroller. If that doesn't tell you what we're dealing with here, I don't know what else does. But I have no idea personally why anyone would ever allow this man to touch a controller again and upload gameplay to the internet because, shit, dude, it's just gonna embarrass your outlet. And, well, he did it with Doom Eternal. Now, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm low-key jealous that I did not get to play this game early, but at least, you know, I don't have gameplay this fucking bad on the internet that would haunt me forever, dude. Like, this guy is gonna get clowned for all of eternity. First, he uploaded the worst Cuphead gameplay in all of fucking existence, but on top of that, now he probably has the record for the worst Doom Eternal gameplay ever uploaded to the internet. Now, I already know I'm probably gonna get shit for this, okay? Someone's gonna be in the comments like, oh my god, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> but anyway, okay, fuck it, dude. This guy is probably worse at fucking Doom Eternal than one of those disabled kids with like one arm playing with the Xbox disability controller, okay? Let's give the disabled kids some credit here and just point out the fact that this man is so fucking bad at video games, but yet it is his only job in life to play video games. He is paid to literally play and critique video games for a living. That is what he does. So that's exactly why you should never take these games journalists seriously, because it just shows you how fucking awful they are, the games they're supposedly experts on. So you know what, guys? I figured this would be pretty fun to watch together because why not dude I've got nothing better to do and if you clicked on this video most likely you're in the same situation maybe you're taking a shit I have no fucking clue but anyway without further ado guys let's go ahead and check out this fantastic first look into Doom Eternal Hey, I've got to give credit where credit's due. He actually made the first jump, unlike when he played Cuphead. So, you know, credit where credit's due, I guess. But, you know, we haven't gotten into the combat section yet. And Jesus Christ, that's where things go downhill. God damn, that aim was awful. But, you know, at least he killed the thing, all right? He didn't die to the first enemy that showed itself in front of him. Surprising. It is literally like this man has never touched a first-person shooter in his entire life. Like, why are you just standing there? Shoot the motherfucker shooting at you! And then he punches the ammo on the ground. Oh my god, dude. I've never even fucking played the game myself, and I already know from the original Doom that it just picks up if you walk over it. I'm telling you, man, this is why you don't take these people seriously. Like, don't listen to a fucking word they say about video games, because this is exactly the type of caliber of person that is reviewing every single game that comes out.
Like, I'm not even exaggerating. You saw it for yourself. Out of all those shots he fired, I think one actually hit a target that was standing completely still, not even moving. Like, this is some really quality shit we're watching here, guys. Like, honestly. Bethesda, next time, please, just invite me out. You know, I'll record some quality-ass gameplay for you guys. I just don't even know what to think, man. This guy could barely even kill one demon. A demon that was standing in one place, barely even moving, because he fell off the ledge into lava, even though there was literally no reason for it whatsoever. And this is some talent, man. This guy, he deserves a medal. Like, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. This was almost three minutes of him trying to get out of this area. Now, I sped it up for you guys because, you know, I'm trying to save you the brain cells here because we have quite a ways to go. We're just about at the halfway point and things are not going to get any better from here on out. Just trust me. Like, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. It is eight minutes into this fucking video at this point, and this man still cannot figure out where to go. In a game solely about killing demons, this man has killed two fucking demons in eight minutes. Like, this is some quality-ass gameplay if I've ever seen it myself. Like, it is so easy to see where he needs to go. He just needs to jump across the lava and grab onto the ledge that has been shown on his map that he has looked at several times throughout this entire thing. Like, this is so fucking pathetic, dude. Like, luckily for you guys, I'm speeding it up, so you don't have to sit through all of this bullshit. I actually have to watch this in real time, okay? I have wasted eight minutes of my life watching a grown man struggle to get out of one fucking area early on in Doom Eternal. Like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Can I be honest with you guys for a second here? Okay, there has never been a time on this entire history of this channel. I have wanted a video to end this much. Like, this is painful to sit through, dude. And honestly, I'm very tempted to just put the rest of this video in like five times speed and be like, well, sorry guys, that's the end of the video for today. You know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, if you see me in real life, make sure to put me out of my fucking misery. But no joke, going back after recording the next part of the video, it was actually in five times speed because for the next two minutes, literally nothing happened. I'm just fucking done, dude. I'm literally fucking done. Like, I'm, I'm done, man. This is the sound of my headset leaving my head. Fuck, stuck on the mic. Fuck this shit. Okay, I literally just took like a 10 minute break, dude. This shit is fucking awful. But I think we only have like a minute left. How much worse could it possibly get? <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my god, dude, I am so glad this video is over. Like, I really don't think I've seen something this painful to watch. Like, even that Cuphead video is nowhere near as bad because that was like two minutes, dude. This was 11 minutes of him unable to figure out where to go in a level pretty early on in Doom Eternal, even though the path ahead was extremely obvious. Like, this is actually pathetic. Like, I really can't believe that this guy is actually employed. Like, if I was his boss and I saw this shit, I would fire him right then and there on the spot. Like, even with the Cuphead footage, if that got uploaded to my YouTube channel and I saw that, I'd fucking fire his ass right then and there, but on top of that, this Doom footage, yeah, there's no way he would work another day in the gaming industry. If I had to say about it, you know, that may sound a little bit harsh, but what the fuck? How is this guy any sort of authority on video games if he cannot even play them? Like, this is honestly pathetic, but anyway, guys, you know, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like on it. You know, I did suffer greatly to have to sit through this entire thing. Like, you guys saw the sped up version. I had to watch this entire damn thing, and honestly, dude, I just, I really start to wonder what the fuck this world is coming to. But with that said, I do want to thank you all so much for taking the time, as always, out of your day to check out the video, and for all the recent support as well. The channel has been doing great recently, and well, I'm just really fucking grateful, okay? You know, it may sound sappy, but I really do mean it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me, you said you